everyone, so I'm back again and today it's going to be a favorites video and I love doing favorites videos. I think everybody does because just naturally we want to share the things that we love with people and encourage them to go out and like support these things and like enjoy them for themselves. So of course I want to share all of this with you. So I think let's just get right into it. The first thing is this headband, and I want to do this first just because I think I'm going to put it on. And I got it from Additionnel. Additionnel is a brand owned by Reitmans, and unfortunately they are closing all their locations. So all of their items are on sale right now, and I have a lot of friends who enjoy Additionnel. So I went in there a lot when they first announced they were closing, and of course everything is on massive sale. And although I think most of the clothes are maybe a bit too big for me. Their accessories though are not. And I picked up this and as well, I picked up a pair of pearl earrings, which I love those as well, but not as much as this. This is a headband and it has puka shells all along the outside, which is just super summery and cute. And I think with my new kind of layered haircut, I look really good with these um, headbands on. And, but that's not the main thing. The main thing I love about this is how it feels. So I, I have an issue with headbands because anything that presses into my head tends to give me a headache. And so I've had that issue with headbands for years. So I tend not to wear too many of them, even when they were very much in style, because maybe an hour into wearing them, I'd start to get a headache. But I don't know if it's because these are from Additionnel or like I've got a big head or whatever the situation. This one doesn't do that. Like it's very nice. It's very kind of, it's not loose, but it doesn't push into my head. So I can wear this all day with no headache. And I think it looks really cute in photos and things like that. So I've been really, really enjoying wearing this and it's very summery kind of vibes. I like wearing it with a summer dress. So it's definitely one of my favorites for this month. The next thing that's one of my favorites is a moisturizer. And this one is called Garnier Bio Organic Lavandin. It's not lavender, it says Lavandin, but I think that's an essential oil from what I read on the box. Um, and it is an anti-age uh, face cream and I really love it. It is scented and usually I would stay away from anything scented going on in my face. I've had a bad experience with scented moisturizers before, but this one is literally only scented with the Lavandin essential oil and it smells incredible and it's actually called a day cream, but I don't know who wants to put lavender on their face in the day. Like it's a very evening scent, so I have been using it at night and I love the smell of it and it's very thick, uh, which is exactly what I want from an evening cream. Maybe I can show you a bit of it. So it's a very thick cream, so you really feel nice and moisturized when you put it on and it has not broken me out and I really expected it to. I've had issues with Aveeno breaking me out. Some of these drugstore brands, their moisturizers just tend to break me out, um, except for Cetaphil. Cetaphil's great, but this one does not and it just feels amazing. It feels very expensive and high quality even though it's not. And even the jar itself is a nice glass jar. They give you a good amount. It feels like it's more expensive than it is. And this goes on sale for a very decent price. So I would for sure buy it again. And I might even buy the oil that, that is from this line as well because I like it so much. So they also have some other essential oils. They have um, lemongrass, I think. Um, but the lavender is really the one I love. Uh, which is funny because when I was a teenager, I used to hate lavender. I used to hate the scent of it. And something apparently changed because now I don't mind it at all. I actually really like it, especially in the evening. So I love this. I really love it. And you should definitely give it a try. So next I have some makeup favorites because I know that's what you all want to see. And for sure, my favorite of the last few months has been this Glossier Play 
eyeliner, color slide eyeliner, and it's in the color Hardcore Velvet. It is this deep greenish blue, um, and when it's on your eyes, it's not too bold, um, but you can see that it's not black, and it does kind of add a little something extra. So I wrote a little bit on my hand, and it's just the smoothest eyeliner. It's so easy to put on, and it just, I know it's gonna last a long time because it's one of these regular eyeliners that you have to sharpen, and these tend to last forever. Like, you can get years of eyeliner out of one of these. So even though this, I think it's around $19, which is expensive for an eyeliner, um, I think I'm totally gonna get all $19 out of it, and I love it. I think it's such a good product. I love the color, I love the formula. I've been having a really rough time with liquid eyeliners lately. I used to only use exclusively liquid eyeliners, um, but lately they've been drying up on me within like less than a month. And it's happened with like six eyeliners now. And I don't know what it is I'm doing. Like I try to put the cap on tight. Maybe it's just the fact that I wear a lot more makeup than I used to, that these eyeliners are not lasting as long but I'm tired of spending money on an eyeliner every month, so I've switched to pencils. The one I'm wearing is also a pencil, but it's a black one. Um, but yeah, highly recommend these Color Slide eyeliners from Glossier. They seem to be very, very good, and I love this color. Because I recently bought some Glossier makeup, including the eyeliner, I went to revisit my other one Glossier product that I have, um, which is this concealer. And it's the Glossier Stretch Concealer in shade two. And I believe when I bought it, I did a video on it, but I will search through my thing and see if that's true. Um, but I basically stopped using this in the winter because it doesn't match my skin as well. It's um, unfortunately, my skin changes a lot um, between summer and winter, and when my skin tans, it tends to tan more yellow. So it's almost like my undertone changes as well, which is very annoying for concealers. So this is a concealer that I basically can only use in the summer, and but when I can use it, oh my god, I love it. It's such an amazing product, and it really just looks like your own skin when you're wearing it. Like, it looks completely undetectable, you just look like a better version of you. And I love that about makeup. I love my makeup looking a bit more natural, looking like I'm still me, like I'm not trying that hard. And this concealer really brings you there. It's really easy to apply. You don't even really need to set it. And it just, yeah, it looks great. So I really recommend this and I've been getting back into it. So it's good, it's good stuff. And what I use with this is this MAC um, Medium Mineralized Skin Finish and it's a powder um, and it's exactly the same as the concealer like it just it's completely undetectable on your skin it just yeah sorry I wish I had a brush so I could show you but I use it with the Glossier concealer so I don't like wearing foundation so I will just put the Glossier concealer under my eyes and in some areas of my face and then I will put this um, MAC powder on the areas that are a bit more shiny um, maybe I'll get a brush because I am a bit shiny I'm back with a brush so I can show you and you really don't need to use a lot as well but it gives you like the most natural kind of matte finish where if you didn't know you just would not know that I'm wearing makeup um, other than my eyeliner of course but if you didn't know that I had put this on like you would just think that I'm just someone who doesn't get oily which is amazing that's exactly what I want for my powder. I'm very fussy with powder. Loose powders I don't usually like because they can emphasize the wrinkles under my eyes, which are actually quite, you know, dramatic. And it can just make me look old. I don't like powders that don't match my skin perfectly. I just, I, I, I ask a lot of my powder and this is really the only one that really has delivered for me. It is great, I love it, I'm gonna repurchase it forever. And it lasts you forever as well. Like you're, like I've had this for over a year and it's just started to get flat. So, and I use it almost every day. So, highly recommend this powder if you haven't checked it out. It has rave reviews and there's a reason. It's because it's a very good product. Have 
a couple more things. I think I've mentioned this before, but I've been really getting into this perfume lately. It's Miss Dior, and I originally didn't think I was going to like it because it's such a girly packaging, and usually I like kind of more sexy, kind of adult fragrances, but I found out recently that this is actually from the 1950s, and I've been kind of into a little bit more vintage stuff lately, so I thought I would give it another try. And I actually think it really smells really lovely on my skin. Like after it sinks into my skin, it really is a really nice scent. So I've been really enjoying this. I was putting it in the bath before, which is how I got down to only this much left. And I kind of regret that now because now I like actually spraying it on myself when I go out. So I actually bought another scent for the bath, which was Yardley's English Lavender, which is another vintage scent. So I use that one for the bath now, and this one I use for going out. So I've been really liking it. Next up I have my hair color, and unfortunately I threw out the box that I used for this color, but I do have this one under the sink still, which was the color that I was using before I changed. And this one is cinnamon brown, but my favorite is really this brand, which is, um, Schwarzkopf dyes and I've tried five or six of their colors and they really don't have that many colors they only have maybe like 12 and so I've tried the majority of their colors now I've done all of their blondes I've done most of their browns and this is the first one I'm trying that's a little bit darker and this one was called amethyst black and it's black with like a little bit of purple like you can see and I just find their colors, the tones are so natural and beautiful and the dye actually smells good. Like it doesn't smell like peroxide and it doesn't seem to damage my hair as much as other dyes do as well. So overall I've just been loving this brand. I used to be a big fan of, of Feria dyes before. I've always box dyed my own hair since I was 11 so I've gone through a lot of hair dye and I think this is one of the best brands I've tried. They, they are kind of limited in their color range, so I hope that they do come out with more. But I buy these when they go on sale for $10, and they are absolutely worth it. I just think the colors are so beautiful, and you can definitely scroll through all my videos and see all the colors I've done from them. So yeah, I, I really recommend this hair dye. I really like it. Now I have a bit of a different favorite and that is um, Radlers. I've been really getting into them this summer and I've been going to a lot of local breweries. This started when I did a drive up to Thunder Bay and from Ottawa. So we drove up to Thunder Bay which is a very long drive and we stopped at many 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 breweries along the way up there and back. So I got into local breweries and I realized that there are so many around where I live. Um, and I tried this Radler after a hike in Perth, and this is from Perth Brewery, and it sold me on Radlers. Like, I didn't think I liked Radlers, but it turns out I had just only had really bad ones. Um, this one was amazing, and then because I tried this Radler, I went to another brewery in the area called Kitchissippi Brewery, and I had their Radler, and that was amazing too. So it turns out I do like Radlers. I, just the first two or three I tried were from really bad brands. So yeah, if you live in any of these areas, definitely try out Perth Brewery's Radler or Kitchissippi's Radler. Um, yeah, I'm just really into it lately. So this has to be my favorite, all-time favorite of the summer, and it is the Bug Proof Clothing, sorry, the Men's Bug Proof Clothing from Mark's Work Warehouse. It is amazing, amazing, changed my life. So I have two men's shirts. I say men's shirts because the women's shirts don't have as many pockets, and that's a huge complaint, Mark's Work Warehouse, what the fuck. But um, if you don't mind buying the men's, which you shouldn't because these are amazing quality. Oh my god, I'm gonna stand up and show you in a minute, but I actually bought two because I liked the first one so much. And these 
um, are from the brand Wind River and they're called No Fly Zone. And it has a chemical infused in the clothing to ward off mosquitoes, black flies, and other bugs. And it lasts for, I believe, up to 70 washes, which is fine because I do a lot of camping and really you're not washing your clothes when you're camping. So these are gonna last you 70 camping trips. And what really sold me on these is that even after it's not bug proof anymore, it's still a great shirt. Oh my gosh. I am never buying clothes from anywhere ever again. I went shopping with a friend not long after I bought these and I'm going into the store and I'm looking at these clothes and I'm thinking these are more expensive than the shirts at Mark's Work Warehouse and they're not bug proof. So I just now my expectation for clothing is just gone up so much. Let me show you what it looks like. This is my favorite of the two. So I am wearing a dress so it looks kind of weird because it has like a really nice um, maple leaf print and I like the color. So if I was wearing a dress like this, I normally would leave it unbuttoned. So I was doing that a lot in Thunder Bay. Like I was wearing it and just leaving it unbuttoned. So the buttons are really nice quality. There are two really large pockets up here. Like really nice. They even hold a cell phone, they're so big. And then on the side, there's also zipper pockets that are so deep because men's pockets, right? Like you can hold everything and there's one on the other side as well. So you just, they just have the most pockets for a shirt that I have like ever experienced. Like you can hold your whole life in these pockets. And these pockets are really nice too. And they have snaps, so they stay closed really well. And then this one has this weird kind of bungee cord. I'm not really sure what that's for. Maybe for like bait or something, I don't really know. But there is like a bungee cord here. Maybe you could hang a pen. Um, and they have things to roll up the sleeves. So the sleeves stay nice and rolled. Oh, here it is. Like this. And there's mesh under the armpit. So it's really nice and cool. And it's lined really nicely. Like it's just amazing, amazing quality. So this is the green one. And then I also bought a gray one. So this is the gray one. I've left the sleeves unrolled on this one so you can see how that's like too. And these are just such amazing quality. They feel so nice and so, like the fabric is so soft. Um, and I have washed the green one several times now. This one is more new. Um, and yeah, it doesn't lose its quality at all in the wash. So these are just such great quality. And they have pants, they have hats. Um, they have shorts, they have short sleeve shirts, they have all kinds of things in this bug proof, soft material. And yeah, it's just such amazing quality. Can you see? You can't really see the mesh under the armpit, but it is mesh. And let me show you the back as well. Can you see? So there's like a vent kind of in the back so that, you know, you don't get too sweaty. I just really, 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 I could not say enough about how much I love these shirts. Like everybody should own them. Buy them for your dad, buy them for your friends, buy them for your family, because these are great. So that's everything for this favorites video, but I want to mention one more thing, which is that a friend and I have started a YouTube channel for campfire cooking, and it's called Campfire Women. I will link it below, and we also have an Instagram. And we are doing campfire cooking videos and campfire cooking pictures. If you like camping, I really recommend you check it out. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.